Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL accounting tutorial video, I'll talk about purchase credit note. Let's go to SQL purchase module. SQL purchase credit note also can consider as purchase return. This is when you return a goods to your supplier, then they will issue you a credit note. So we call it purchase credit note. And in purchase credit note, there's something you need to remember is it will actually decrease the quantity of stock on hand because you actually take out the stock and return back to your supplier. So normally this will uh, have impact to your stock control. So just go to purchase return. So when you go to purchase re return, there is a listing of all the purchase return you have done before. And as usual, there will be different columns. The first row is empty is for you to do searching for example, if can, you can remember the purchase return number, then you just type the number, it will appear. Cannot remember, just use any of the few for you to do the checking. Example, you, you remember the company name, so you just type N O. So it will come up the side. So at the column title, right click on it, go to view chooser, so you can actually drag out any Feel that you want to use as a searching criteria, such as um, maybe phone, drag, drop, one, you can just drag, reply, or just right click a particular column title, remove this column, then you will remove it. So, another way is on the column title, just go to the most left, there will be a small button with multiple line, click on it. So over here also the same way, just click on the view, it will appear and tick, it will disappear. So to create a purchase return, just click on the new. Then select supplier. Just type the supplier name and you can see that when you type M, all the supplier company with the name consists of M will appear. Okay, then you get your supply. So it's very easy to search for one particular supply in SQL. So just in case, if one day when you type the name, nothing appears, it's because the focus of searching now is at another column. So now it's at company name too. So backspace, remove the thing that you type. Click on the tab key on the keyboard, tab. It will jump to another column, tab, jump, tab. It comes back to company name. So that's why just type the name, it will appear. The same theory apply to account code, item code, supplier code, and customer code. So you can see that purchase return number will appear automatically. So the next number will be SC-00004. So the date, the agent, the terms will appear accordingly. Of course, you can change over here also. So click on the plus which item you want to return back to your supplier. Let's type it. So as you can see, I'm using the descriptions for the item to search for them. So this is the item I want to return. So what is the quantity you want to return? What is the price? Okay. So this price will be using the reference cost during your maintenance of this particular item. So any column that you don't want, same, right click, remove it. Okay, if you want to plus another item, just click on the plus sign, select another item, change the quantity maybe, then click on save. Okay, so after save, you can see that this purchase return is SC004. If you want to know the double entry, right click any empty space, show the double entry. So you can see the double entry. And just for your knowledge, this purchase return actually is a supplier credit note. So it will actually post from purchase return post to supplier credit note. This is the one that we just created. And please come in over here, click edit. Yes. This purchase return, you can actually knock off with a invoice because when you return the goods to your supplier they're supposed to give you a credit note and this credit note will actually 
decrease the stock quantity at the same time it should decrease the outstanding between you and your supplier so if these things happen you should click on one of the outstanding invoice so that it will reduce the balance okay so save it done if the supplier credit note got nothing to do with the stock it's directly maybe a discount to you then you can skip the purchase credit note and directly do under the supplier credit note which i'll teach in the future tutorial video so nothing need to be print out because supplier credit note will be given by supplier to you so it's not you given to your supplier so that's the whole idea of how purchase credit note work in SQL accounting system Thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.